forgot that I was supposed to do that. So I am taking a little road trip. I'm in Tennessee. I've been in Memphis for about a week now and I woke up today and decided that I wanted to travel to Nashville. So it's only like three hours away. So I hopped in the car and now I'm sitting at a gas station. I pulled over because I want to use the restroom and gas up and then head on my way. I only have about an hour and a half left to go and then I'll be there. So I'm just going to go there and hang out. So I've been doing some shopping and eating. Oh, and last night I went to this, well, it was actually yesterday. It wasn't at night. I went to this restaurant in Memphis called Imagine. They had a really good spinach dip. I almost forgot the name. It was so good. I went to Old Navy and I bought this shirt. I was just looking around. I brought a lot of dresses and then I wasn't feeling like wearing them, especially like for a long road trip. I wanted to wear jeans. So I stopped and just picked up this striped shirt. I will be leaving tomorrow. And one thing I'm excited to do when I get back is to pick up my skirt. So I made a Vogue skirt a couple of videos ago and it was too long. And so I didn't want to, you know, mess with it and end up messing it up. So I took it to a tailor so that they can kind of, you know, hem it up for me. So it should be ready when I get back. So I cannot wait to pick that up. When I get into my sewing room, I'm going to start my next sewing make, which I will put in this video. And it is going to be a Vogue pattern. It's actually going to be a pair of shorts. So one of the first things that I did when I got back in town is to go pick up my skirt. So I went into the dressing room and I put on my boots. And I really liked the way that the alteration was done. However, on the right side of the skirt, it was still a little bit too long. So I decided to go ahead and have it altered a little bit more, just on the right side only. And the lady was so nice and so patient as she was hemming up the hem just where I wanted it. So while I'm waiting for my skirt to come back, I'm just going to go ahead and work on my next sewing project. I am about to start working on this advanced Vogue pattern, which is Vogue 1912. And my plan is to make these shorts. I really love the way that the shorts look, especially in the back. The pockets show on the outside of the back and I think that is such a cute detail. There are eight pattern pieces that you will need to cut out and then I made a note to myself to cut out piece number 10 which will make actually nine pattern pieces to cut out but piece 10 is used for the lining. There is an exposed zipper in this pattern and it does have a button that will go at the top. There are front and back pockets and there are also darts that will go on the back of these shorts. I purchased this 100% cotton denim from Joann Fabric, so I will be using this for the shorts. And then for the back pocket lining, I'm going to be using this fabric, which is the same fabric that I used for the skirt that I've been sharing. And then for the front pocket, I'm just gonna use this denim fabric that I had left over in my little scrap bin. Step number one, I want you to reinforce the side edge of the left front, and that's this area here. On the pattern piece, they have you mark the line, and then there's a dot at the end. So what you're going to do is line this up with your seam line, so 5 eighths of an inch, and then you will sew down to the dot and then pivot and then sew this way. So you'll make like an L shape to just reinforce this area. So I mentioned that I was using this blue fabric for the front pocket, but this is actually going to be the front pocket lining pieces. So step number two is to go ahead and put these two pieces together, the fashion fabric with the lining fabric, so that I can go ahead and start working on the pockets. So once the two pocket pieces are together, the lining and the fashion fabric, then you will sew around this edge and around this edge, leaving it open up here and there with no stitches. Trim the seam and then flip everything to the opposite side. Once everything is flipped out, you will do some top stitching along the curved edge here 
And then these will be attached to the front of the shorts. The pockets are on the front of the shorts and now I'm going to go ahead and put the pockets on the back of the shorts. So I stitched the pocket down to the shorts, trimmed it, did some top stitching around this edge here. So now I just need to flip this side out, press it and do the same thing. Tuck it in and top stitch. Now I am up to step eight. The last thing that I did was to sew the darts into the right side back and the left side back. And now it says to take the wrong side of the back pocket and the wrong side of the right side back and place the wrong sides together and then sew around this lower curve. So these will match all the way up to this top corner over here. And there are notches to help you so you'll know you're putting things together the right way. And then you will just go ahead and sew this and this will be the other part of the pocket. So this is how the pieces will look once they are pinned together. So you will go ahead and stitch around this edge here and make sure you have the wrong side matching the wrong side of this lining piece. Once it's all sewn, it will look something like this, which may look a little confusing. So what you do is you just take this pocket and kind of fold it to the inside. Fold it out. I didn't clip my seams yet, so I'm going to have to go back and do that, but I just want to show you what it should look like. So you'll turn this in and flip it. And then that will be how it will look. And then that way you can go ahead and baste around this top edge and baste around this side. So I need to go ahead and take this back out so that I can trim the seams and clip around any curves. And then I need to also go back and stitch this one in. The back pocket is all done. It does have top stitching around this edge here. And now it's just time to go ahead and attach the front of the shorts to the back of the shorts. And that will be done at this inner seam here. Okay, so now it is time to sew the crotch curve. So I just put the two fronts together and the two backs together. And then I will go ahead and stitch around here. I wanted to mention when you are working on step number eight and you're sewing these wrong sides together, it says here that this seam should be sewn in half of an inch seam allowance instead of five eighths of an inch. I forgot that I was supposed to do that, but I am not going to go back and unpick anything. So hopefully it will still turn out okay. I just finished putting in the exposed zipper. I will trim this off after I put on the waistband. This is how everything is looking so far. And now I'm working on the extension, which will go behind the zipper. This is the left back side of the shorts. And to sew the extension, you will just flip the zipper to the opposite side like this. And then you're gonna take your extension and match the raw edges up. And then you'll just stitch a quarter of an inch all the way down. Okay, so I just finished putting in the waistband. I just need to secure it to the top of the shorts. I will go in and put a button and a buttonhole and then hem the shorts and show you what they look like on. I got my skirt back. I only took in one boot because that was all I needed just to try it on. Oh, I'm so happy with the results. Alright, finally, finally done.